Also guys, welcome back to the Pokemon Gold Randomizer Nuzlocke. So, first episode, basically just started the game. Um, we went to Mr. Pokemon's house, got the mystery egg, came back, got our first Pokemon as well, which is uh, Peggy the Farfetch'd on level 8 currently. Um, let's check the stats. So, obviously a normal flying type. Vice Grip and Aeroblast, which is uh, Aeroblast being the second move is insane at this level, but um, Decent stats. I mean as I said uh, episode one this Pokemon doesn't evolve, but we'll just see how we'll see how she goes if she, how she gets on Hopefully we'll uh, get attached to this Pokemon and, um, <laughs> I Really hope Peggy does P P Peggy survives to the end, but I'm not in I'm not sure um, I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, for this episode, we are going to progress and actually catch our first Pokemon in the wild. So, oh, what have we got here? I've seen you a couple of times. How many Pokemon have you caught? Would you like to show me how to catch Pokemon? Yeah, sure, go on. Alright, so this guy's going to show us how to catch Pokemon. We already know. I mean, well, people who have played Pokemon know. But. So we have the Rattata. In the wild, he's gonna he's gonna throw a Pokeball. So this obviously th this Pokemon is um, this section of, of the Let's Play is not randomised. Yeah, so he just he just catches it straight away. It doesn't even damage the Pokemon. So <laughs> doesn't even need doesn't even need to attack the Pokemon. That's how you do it. If you weaken them first, Pokemon are easy to catch. See, but he just he just catches it straight up. So I get did he even have one to begin with? <laughs> anyway. So that's how you catch a Pokemon. You just you uh, weaken the Pokemon first, and then you catch the Pokeball. Uh, catch the Pokemon with the Pokeball, but or whatever Poke Pokeball you have. Um, we'll get into that later. But anyway, um, so we had a sneak peek last episode with uh, in terms of you know the Pokemon that you see in this route. So let's uh, yeah let's see if we can uh, get something decent here. Here we go. First Pokemon from this route. And it's a Togepi, of course. Okay. So I'm guessing this is the, the uh, standard Pokemon in this one. And on this route. Because you've got standard Pokemon and you've also got um, like a, the, the rare chance to catch a decent, like a, a, a different Mon. But uh, do, do we even, like, do we even attack this thing? I don't know if it's going to I don't know if we're gonna like KO it. <laughs> we'll try it for ice grip and hope it doesn't. Hopefully it goes down to the red. I don't wanna kill it. Oh, and we've killed it. Okay, so. So now we can't catch a Pokemon on this route. So. Yeah, brilliant. Okay. Oh, I didn't. Anyway, I didn't, I didn't want a Togepi anyway. They're kind of. They're kind of bad. The, the, the stats aren't great, but anyway. Let's, let's, let's move on. Um, okay. There was a route up here that we can go. So let's do that. Um, what route is this? Route 4 to 6? Okay. So this is like, this is one of the routes near to the end, but it's like, I don't know, on the other side of the, the barrier. <laughs> if that makes sense. Um, but it's technically one of the earlier routes in the game. So this is a new route, so we can actually catch the first one from this route, so. Let's see what we can find. Ooh, Gloom! Okay, this is not too bad. It is level two though. Um so this is the middle evolution of the Oddish line. Um So it's Grass poison, so it's actually decent, decent, um, decent coverage, I think, with grass and poison. So, so this would be good to have. I'm not going to Aeroblast because that's super effective against the grass type in of this Pokemon. Um, because it's a glue, because it's a middle evolution, I'm hoping that Vice Grip doesn't kill. I'm kind of worried it will though. Um, I want. I, I feel like if I, if I try and. Uh, Throw a Pokeball at it, it won't it won't catch, but we can try and we can try and throw a ball anyway. 
Let's do it. Nope. Okay. Not even one shake. And he's got Spore. Okay. We are definitely trying to catch... We're definitely going to catch this. Come on. We need to catch this. Spore is a really good move. It just puts people to sleep. Um, and and it's, it's... It puts people to sleep for like a few turns and it's like a 100% accuracy move, so... <laughs> It's really good. It's got Petal Dance as well. That's that's a really good move as well. Okay, luckily it's, it doesn't do anything because I'm a flying type, so... Oh, wake up, Peggy! Wake up! Man! I'm hoping this episode we can get to the first gym, but I don't... I'm, I'm not actually sure. This, might, this is definitely going to be a long series. So I'm trying not. I'm, I'm going to try not to use speed up on the emula em on the uh, emulator. So, oh, what move is that? Uh, I think that's Solar Beam. Oh no! It's a two-turn attack, so I think it's yeah, Solar Beam. That's a really powerful move, but it is a two-turn attack. So it takes like one turn to charge. All right, here we go. Do not kill. Do not kill. Oh, come on, man. There's no way. There's no way I'm going to be able to catch anything. Alright, so that's another route that we... <laughs> oh, dear. That we've not been able to um, catch. Looks like we're solo running with Farfetch, so... Okay. What do you What do you say? What do you say? Different kinds of Pokemon appear past here. If you want to catch them all, you have to look everywhere. Okay. So you don't say anything. Well, let's just carry on. We have a route coming up anyway, so see what we can get. Alright, we've quickly healed up, so let's move on. Alright. Route 30. So, uh, let's see what we can get here. Hopefully we can get the gold bat that we saw earlier. Um, Maybe, I don't know. Something decent, please. Or just anything at all. There we go. First encounter. Oh, and it's a Togetic, okay. Togetic. Or however you print however you say it. So it's level four, so hopefully uh it survives a vice grip. Um I'm actually quite scared it's gonna kill this thing as well, but it's level four, so this should have more defense. Um, plus it's a middle evolution. I think I think it should be fine. Perfect. Got, we've got it in the orange, so let's throw a ball at it. Uh, I've got four Pokeballs left. Hopefully, it's easy to catch, but it is a middle evolution, so I'm not sure. Oh, for God's sake! Okay, we might have to. We might end up using our, all of our Pokeballs. We've only got a few left now. Um. I really wanted that Gloom, you know, because Spore and... It had Spore, Solar Beam, and Petal Dance, and those are three really good moves, especially Spore, because um, Pokemon are a lot easier to catch uh, if they've uh, if they've been afflicted with a sta uh, status, like, um, like, a, like Poison, if they've been poisoned or if they've been put to sleep, you know. So... Yeah, let's just keep throwing a Pokeball, see what happens. Not even a shake, man. Not even a shake. I don't know if it's worth it, man. Do, do I... Do I carry on, or do I... Not, we've got to at least try to catch this thing, haven't we? I can't really touch it anymore, so... I have to use all my balls. Oh, that was so close. Three shakes. Oh, man. It's not... We're not going to catch this, are we? Got one Pokeball. All right. Here we go. Come on. Come on. Pokemon gods, please. One. One shake. Okay, whatever. All right, we're killing this thing. I'm sorry. Had to be done. 
Okay. 65 XP. Alright. Let's go back to Cherry Grove and get more balls. Alright, so. We've healed up once again. Let's go into the Mart. See what we can get. Hopefully they sell Pokeballs this time. Yeah, there we go. Um, so we've only got th we've only got three thousand three hundred poker dollars. So what can we get for that? Uh, we can get sixteen pokeballs if we wanted to, but we're not getting sixteen. We're gonna get I think ten might be all right. Could do um, could get a few potions as well if we wanted to. Uh, ten pokeballs. I feel like ten's good. Decent amount. So now we've got 1300, so let's see. Four po four potions. We don't have any antidotes though, do we? Let's have a look. Let's check our bag real quick. Um, we have potions and we have a potion and two berries. Alright, let's get an antidote. You never know when we'll need one. Uh, paralysis heal. And then, uh, let's see, three potions, there we go. Now we are pretty much broke. Oh, actually, no, tell you what. Now we are broke. <laughs> we have no money. Okay, good. So now, let's carry on. All right, guys, I think it's time to encounter our first trainer. So, this guy. Usually in the standard game, um, he has a Rattata, uh, which we've seen earlier. Uh, with the demonstration, so let's just get straight into it. Hopefully, he doesn't have a legendary. <laughs> that would be quite funny if he does. But we'll see. Youngster Joey, of course. The legend. Oh god, a Sneasel. Okay. We've got to. Okay, we've got to destroy this thing quickly because this is an ice type, and ice is. Super effective against flying, um, as some people will know. So, so we just go with our Aero Blast. Um, fuck it, man. Hopefully this kills it, because... Yeah, good, okay. I did not want it using an Ice move on me. Right, level 9, okay, good. Peggy is getting strong. Right, but... I kind of want a weaker move on the, on the Farfetch'd though, because... Yeah. Just just so we can actually catch another Pokemon. Alright. Trainer number two. Let's see what he's got. So this is Youngster Mikey. He's got two Pokemon this time. Ooh, Tentacruel. I actually like Tentacruel. Tentacruel is usually quite strong. Um, but on this, on this occasion it's level two, so... Just give it a couple of vice grips. Oh, one, one vice grip. Oh, critical hit. First one of the uh, series, so that's good. There's like a, there's like a, a, a chance of getting a critical hit. Um, don't know what the chance is. Like thirty percent, maybe, or twenty percent. Um, Zatu. Okay. Uh, Zatu is uh, also decent. I want to preserve my aero blasts, so. We'll just keep using Vice Grip. Another critical hit, very nice. Peggy's flying, man. Almost level 10. Got $64 for that. Uh, is this a different route? No, I think this is the same route. Yeah, I'm not even gonna, I'm not gonna check the map because I know this is the same route. Oh, you're not a trainer, okay. I'm not a trainer. <laughs> If you look one in the eyes, prepare to battle. Okay. Oh, what we got here? Golbat once again. Would have been nice to. Uh, would have been nice to have caught a Golbat, but anyway. Oh, this guy's a trainer, definitely. All right, what do you what do you have? Instead of a bug Pokemon, I found a trainer. Yes, I am not a bug Pokemon. <laughs> Great observation there, Mr. Trainer. But catch a Don. Yo, Donny! What's going on? Ooh, Arbok. See, Arbok's really cool. But, uh, like, like Arbok looks really cool as a Pokemon, but, um, 
Stats wise, it's not too great. Harden, okay. Although it did live, it did live a vice grip though, so that's cool. Very nice. We're just we're just destroying these Pokemon. All right, level ten. Very nice. Oh, P pile of swine. Okay. Um, hopefully he doesn't have like a, a one-hit KO move. Let's see. Or a nice move because it is a nice type. Oh no. Oh, Blizzard! Oh god, that is a nice type move. Okay, that's gonna... Okay, luckily my stats are decent right now. Compared to the... Uh, compared to my opponent, but... I could have been... If if that pile of swine was also the same level, that could have been um, catastrophic for me. Alright, that was decent though. Let's actually um, use a berry. Was it 10 HP? Let's use a berry. Alright, cool. It's pretty much, it's almost a full. So let's carry on. Um, Alright, let's see. Uh, is this... It, it glitched a little bit, which suggests that... Are we on a new route? I think we are, you know. Route 31. Hold on. Ah, yes. I was right. So it doesn't tell you uh, when you move on to a new route. It does in Crystal, but not in Pokemon Gold. So you just sort of have to... Um, there's these little, like, sort of glitches on the screen that I can, I mean, you, you guys can't really see it, but, like... When you pass into a new route, it's sort of the game... The graphics sort of, like, stop for, like, a tenth of a second. So you kind of you kind of know that you, uh, you've entered a new route. But yeah, we're on a new route currently now, so... Um, yeah, let's, uh, let's see what we can, uh, see what we can find here. Right, first, first encounter. Ooh, Flaffy. So, uh, the Mareep that we saw earlier, or, or in the first episode, um, this is the middle evolution of that. Uh, now, again, the problem is, uh, both these moves will most, will do a lot of damage, and most likely will kill. The Aeroblast, though, is not very effective against it, because it's an electric type. So, I could try Aeroblast on this thing, and hopefully it won't kill. <laughs> We've got to pray. Oh, oh, critical hit, man. That's not what I need. The one time that a critical hit is not needed. God's sake. Okay, whatever. Dark Cave. Alright, that is another route there, though. So, this is Dark Cave. Um, so, I don't know. I, I, I think you can actually find a, a couple of items in here, but... Um, could could uh, get another mon in there, actually. What item is this? Found another antidote. Antidote, very nice. Alright, let's actually go in Dark Cave and see uh, what we can find. Yeah, so, obviously you can't see shit in here, because you need uh, a Pokemon with the move Flash. Uh, which we don't have. <laughs> so we're just gonna have to, like, yeah, move around a little bit, like like, like so. Okay, Spinarak, that's, uh, that's the first encounter, okay. So, for Dark Cave, first encounter. Can't really attack it, so let's just uh, throw a ball. Spinarak has a very high catch rate, so... Well, I thought it did, but... Egg bomb. Okay. Christ. Um, yeah, Spinarak has a really high catch rate, so hopefully should be able to catch this, but... The fact that I didn't even shake... Doesn't fill me with confidence. There we go. Oh, three times. Okay, come on. Come on. Yes, there we go. Told you. High catch rate. Here we go. Spinarak. Uh, uh, it's a spider. Right. What are we gonna name? What are we name in the Spinarak? 
Um, it's not the greatest Pokemon, if I'm honest. It evolves into a bigger spider. <laughs> That's all I'll say. Um, what's a good spider name for a spider? Um, let's. Ugh, I mean, it, it's a pretty basic name because for anyone that's seen the film you, you'll know what I'm going to call this thing it's also my sister's middle name Charlotte Charlotte's Web alright so we have another Pokemon at least um, it's a level 2 but I can uh, probably switch train this thing so we've got Poison Powder and Egg Bomb. It's a Bug Poison type. Very nice. Stats are pretty, very low because it's level 2. Um, it, again, it's not the best Pokemon, but it's it's another Pokemon. So if we're in trouble, we could, you know, at least sacrifice it if we wanted to. But hopefully uh, it doesn't come to that. But Anyway, let's move on. What do you say? Hmm, huh? I walked too far today looking for Pokemon. My feet hurt and I'm sleepy. If I were if I were a wild Pokemon, I'd be easy to catch. Zzz. <laughs> oh, that guy's funny. Oh, we got another. We got a different type of berry this time. Okay, very nice. What is a bitter berry? Uh, oh, it's for confusion. Okay, very nice. Might be able to use that. Oh, found another Pokeball. Very good. Um, what are we on now? Okay, cool. So what I'm going to do actually uh, is, since uh, there's a trainer coming up, I'm going to switch, switch them both around, put Charlotte up ahead. <laughs> Here we go. Got Violet City coming up, so yeah, it's good that we we need to train this uh, like like this uh, spinner up up anyway. But catch a Wade, Star you. Got a starfish, very nice. Um, I don't think this is gonna. <laughs> I think Staryu outperforms uh, Spinarak, if I'm honest. So let's switch back to Peggy. And completely, completely one shot this thing. She's a vice grip that should kill. Alright, Charlotte grew to level 3, that was quick. <laughs> Only 22 XP as well. Uh, Growlithe. Alright, let's switch back into Charlotte and then switch back. Do the double switch. Alright, and then switch back. There we go. <laughs> Luckily, the, uh, the original Pokemon stats uh, haven't been changed, so I've not randomised those stats. So, for example, this Growlithe doesn't have mad, def mad defense. It just has its normal stats, so that's good. Alright, 18 XP. Uh, for Alligator, oh god. So this is a fully evolved Pokemon, so... It's actually the fully evolved starter of this generation, which is funny. But yeah, that's a level 3 for Alligator, which is also hilarious. It's got, um, it's got Drought as its ability, which is... Quite, quite funny as well. Um, switch back into Peggy. This will give out a decent amount of XP, I think. Because it's a fully evolved Pokemon. It's got Mega Horn as well. Nice. Sunlight is strong. Um, uh, it's Vice Grip. Vice Grip has a lot of PP, so I may as well just spam that. Oh, it survived it. Okay. Probably because of its... Fully evolved stats, but sixty-seven XP. Wow, that's a lot. Oh, did, did Charlotte grow two levels? Maybe just one level. Politoed. I like Politoed. Um, let's go back into Charlotte. All right. It did evolve. It did. Um. Yeah, it grew up two levels. I think. Level 2 Politoed. Uh, do I even want to stay out? <laughs> it's level 2, but it is a fully evolved Pokemon. So, yeah, I'm not going to risk it. I'm playing the smart game. 
I've lost too many Nuzlocks in the past, especially when I used to stream back in the day, which was like two years ago. Um, or well, maybe three years ago, actually. Right, Vice Grip, of course. This should kill. Yes, it does. Okay. 39 XP, still decent. And, uh, yeah, screw you, Wade. Screw you, Bug Catcher Wade. Um, let's put Peggy back in front. We're almost at Violet City. Alright. I found a good Pokemon in Dark Cave. I'm going to raise it to take on the Fa Faulkner. He's the leader of Violet City's gym. Alright, cool. And I believe he's the flying type gym. With a name like Faulkner. Um, what do you have to say? I came out, I came too far out. I better phone home. Oh no, that guy's, uh... <laughs> that guy's, that guy's pretty, uh... Yeah. Got underpowered Pokemon, it seems. Right, let's do a bit of healing. Very nice. We've actually got Sprout Tower coming up as well. Um, so... We can do that before the gym. Um, what's this? Earl's Pokemon Academy. Oh, hello. Do you have anything to say? I'm taking notes of the teacher's lecture. I'd better copy the stuff on the blackboard too. Okay, very nice. Pokemon holding a berry will heal itself in battle. Many other items can be held by Pokemon. I'm sure it's tough. Okay. What about you two? I traded my best Pokemon to the guy beside me. Huh? The Pokemon I just got is holding something. Oh, very nice. So they're trading. Alright. Gonna have a chat to the NPCs and then I'll be back. Oh, this. Uh, uh. Okay, this guy's, uh. showing me around. Here, teacher I am. Good it is. You study here. Uh, I have no idea. I, <laughs> I guess he wants, wants me to follow him, but I'm not going to yet. I think in one of these buildings, uh, you can actually trade a Pokemon. Um, but I don't think I randomised it, so... Maybe, uh, let's have a look. I think... Which side is it? I think it's the other side. Nope, that's... That's not the right way. I think it's up and left. Oh no, never mind. Down and left? I think it might be this building. Ah, it's this guy. Maybe? I'm not sure. Ah, here we go. Do you have Diglett? Wanna trade for my area dose? Okay, so so it is randomised, um, because before it was a, an onyx for a bell sprout. Um, I do not have a diglet. Okay, so we'll, <laughs> if we can somehow find a diglet, then that'd be cool. But probably wouldn't trade it though. All right, that's enough uh, speaking to the NPCs. Uh, let's go ahead and go straight into Sprout Tower. So this is Sprout Tower. I believe this is a new Pokemon catching area because you can you can uh, Pokemon do appear in um, a couple of the floors so this is uh, technically a new route uh, these are these are all the sage masters or the uh, monks you know sage monks whatever uh, do we need to train up Charlotte a decent amount Only if you reach the top will you be able to obtain an HM. Okay. So so there's hidden machines and technical machines in this game. So technical machines uh, you can only use once and you can give to Pokemon. Um, but but not not every Pokemon, obviously. It depends on the uh, the move itself. Um, obviously, uh, certain Pokemon will not be able to use certain TMs, etc. Um, with HMs, they're hidden machines, so they are moves that you can uh, use over and over again. Um, but they are necessary 
to use within the, uh, like, to, to through the game. So we'll probably get given a few HMs later. And uh, they are moves that are necessary um, to progress uh, throughout the game, so, yeah. Alright, I don't know if this guy's uh, battles. I think he does. So let's put Charlotte in front. Yes, he battles, okay. However hard we battle, the tower will stand strong. Let's see what this guy... Let's see what this guy has. Sage Nico. Clefairy, not bad. Alright, so it's level 5. Um, yeah, let's switch out. I'm not going to risk that. <laughs> Hidden power? Okay. Oh, it's a super effective hidden power. So... Oh, Gyarados, okay. So let's switch, um... Let's switch back into Charlotte. It's a level 3 Gyarados, but... This will give me a lot of XP. So let's move back into Peggy, once again. Charlotte is getting levels. Gyarados using Bubble Beam is actually quite accurate. <laughs> uh, let's go with Vice Grip. Alright. Alright. Sage Nico is about to use Golding. Okay. Um, again, we're going to do the same again. Switch into Charlotte, then switch back into Peggy. So... You know how it goes. Alright, um... Oh, actually, do I... It's got... Actually, no sludge, which is a decent poison time move, so let's actually try... ...and uh, keep Charlotte in. Because sludge is a decent move. Oh, one shot! Oh, it's a critical hit! Nice! Very nice, Charlotte. Level 7. Getting sort of attached to this spider. <laughs> anyway, Sage Nico was defeated. Very nice. Alright. Um, we're actually going to end it here on this recording. Uh, so, <laughs> in the next episode, um, we're going to go straight to the top of the uh, Sprout Tower, beat the Sage boss, and then, obviously, beat the gym leader as well. And uh, hopefully, hopefully we can do all that next, next episode. So, yeah. Done quite a... A bit this episode, even though it may not seem like it, we've uh, caught a new Pokemon, got a few more items, and we're now in uh, the third city of the game. So, yeah, we're actually uh, a little bit of the way through it, not uh, maybe like 10%. So, yeah. Um, thank you guys so much for watching, and leave a like, and also subscribe if you're new as well. And, uh, yeah. Peace out, guys.